Alright, how you doing? Ed here again with video number two of the Goose Project. Uh, today we're going to put on some servos, but first I wanted to give us another sort of general orientation of uh, where I'm going with this here. So again, it's a project to build a remote control plane that looks like a goose, and uh, I'm going to try a little bit of an experimental kind of a... Uh, well, other people have done it, actually. I've seen uh, a couple uh, folks out there uh, pointed me to some links where I can see that other people have done entire wing control. They call them uh, wingerons. So I'm not doing something brand new here, but it's brand new to me, and it might be interesting for you guys, too. So the wingeron idea is that the whole wing, the whole main wing, kind of tilts a little bit to control the roll of the plane. I've got a lot of good advice from a lot of folks out there on how sensitive this is going to be. So uh, folks like Tun Jim and Tripod333 out on rcgroups.com, thanks for the good feedback on how sensitive it's going to be. Also Rob B, thank you for the uh, the tips. Same uh, kind of idea how violent a little change might make the plane turn. Also Vane Pico on YouTube and Dave from RC Powers, thank you for all giving me advice to make the changes very, very slight at first. So I will try to employ that idea. So a general overview of where what I'm doing and, uh, and what, where I'm going with this is, yes, it's a goose project, but I'm going to start out just kind of making a basic plane to start out with, uh, following Dave's advice to just get uh, something simple in the air that flies and then start to make it fancy, then start to uh, do different wild and crazy things. Because if you start with one wild and crazy thing, then you're not going to know what's wrong with it, what to change, because you'll have too many things in the mix. So we're going to start uh, with a sort of simple setup. So you remember this box from last time with the wings, and the wings here are going to go like that, and we're going to do the servos today. So what I wanted to show you, though, think of this from the side view, like a box here uh, and the wing. So the eventual goal is something like this where um, this is the goose head and the tail. A little out of proportion, but you get the idea. So here's the, the body, the box that I have now on the wing. So this is the eventual goal. And it's going to uh, also be similar to the Wright Brothers because the head is going to be involved in, possibly going to be involved in some rudder control. But again, that's something fancy, and I want to start off simple. So the simple is something basic like this. I'm going to take the box once we get the servos and the wings happening and we do a wind tunnel test. That'll probably be the next video after this. Uh, I'm going to put a tail on it and figure out what prop and motor and speed controller and all that stuff. And then start to get fancy and work towards the actual goose here. Okay. Alright, so where am I going to stick these servos? I've never put a servo on anything before, so I went to my local hobby store, Hobby Express in Cranberry. Thanks, guys. They set me up with two SM65s, the ones that Dave recommends with the uh, kryptonite gear, carbonite gears, not kryptonite. Uh, not going to go up and kill Superman here. Going to drive around town with the top down and watch all the people stare at me driving around.
kooky minute that's black and white. I want your car. I want your car, car. I want your TT. There ain't nothing I like about you. Such a car. Uh, hook the battery up and see what it does. All right, black is negative, red is positive. All right, now let's turn our radio on. DX5E, simple radio, perfect for me. A guy just starting out in this. Red light comes on in there, so I, s I know that uh, transmitter and radio, transmitter and receiver are talking. Let's try going left. Yeah, the left wing is diving the right wing slightly, and the right wing is inclining slightly. And right, yeah, the right wing is now diving, and the left wing is inclining slightly. And it's very subtle. Uh, at least to me, it looks very subtle. The two things I need to know are, is that too much wing movement? Should I make it less? And... Do I need to make the wings better? Are they too crude, just being cut squarely out of foam like that? Do I need to make them more airfoil type wings? If you could answer those, give me suggestions on those two things and anything else, that'd be great. And that looks good enough to me for a wind tunnel test. So that's what we'll do next time is we'll set up a on the cheap wind tunnel, a little less cheap than my original wind tunnel, which you remember was a box fan. Uh, so this uh, wind tunnel, uh, a suggestion from Rob B. Uh, we're going to do it just like NASA does it. I'll tell you all about it next time. All right, thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel. And more suggestions. The suggestions I got were very helpful. More suggestions would just help me even more. Thanks, guys. We'll see you.